In 2019, the town of Oakville declared a climate emergency and established community-wide target targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2041. A new project broke ground on Monday that will help the town do just that. Nikki Wesley explains. The GeoExchange Community Energy System for the North Oak Towers at Dundas Street and Trafalgar Road will be one of the first of its kind in the GTA. Buildings are the single largest source of greenhouse gas emissions, accounting for nearly 50% of our carbon footprint right here in the GTA. As we continue to develop our built environment, it's crucial that we do so in a responsible manner that does not further contribute to the climate crisis and that fundamentally means transitioning away from fossil fuel use. At North Oak, we'll be doing exactly that. Our community energy system will use an ambient temperature distribution network to allow buildings to share energy with one another and through three distinct but interconnected geo-exchange fields, we'll be able to leverage the ground beneath us to warm and cool Oakville's newest community while virtually eliminating the use of natural gas for all space heating. The buildings at North Oak are expected to see a 95% reduction in fossil fuel use for space heating, substantially reducing greenhouse gas emissions while protecting future residents from rising energy costs and supporting the town of Oakville's community energy strategy and ultimately provincial and federal climate targets. The Five Tower project was created by Minto Communities and Creative Energy and is estimated to complete in 2027. If you consider a typical mixed-use residential building, you're burning natural gas for heating and you're using potable water and electricity for cooling. Uh, instead of that, what we do is use the ground, go down about 800 feet deep with closed-loop vertical boreholes, and in the wintertime when we need heat, we run colder water to the earth, we take the heat from the earth, and that's what uses the building's use for heating, essentially eliminating the need for natural gas. And in the summertime, it works in total reverse. The buildings are air conditioning. You have to remove heat from the building. Instead of dumping that heat to a cooling tower, which consumes water and electricity and is inefficient, we put that heat back into the earth, eliminating that whole process and balancing the field over time. So you get to save uh, fossil fuels by not burning natural gas and efficiency by not using water or electricity. To accommodate the first two towers, they will be drilling approximately 150 to 200 boreholes starting next week. I think five years from now, we're going to see this be the standard. I think what we see today, burning gas to, to heat, is just not a, re it's not a sustainable way that we can build our communities. So I hope, I think and I hope that this will become a pretty typical kind of project looking forward five years. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.